Welcome to Board Game Archaeologists, where we play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today, we're looking at Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost, the awesome TV show from 1974. It went for three seasons. Season three, a little bit questionable. The game came out in 1975. It's made for ages 7 to 10, and is made for two to four players. But honestly, you can play this with one player, and we'll tell you why in a little bit. The objective of the game is to take your appropriately colored piece to your appropriately, appropriately colored cave on the other side of the board. The pieces include a spinner, so no dice on this game. We got a spinner that has directions to it. Um, your board, of course, and this board we'll talk about a little bit later because it's a Land of the Lost board and it actually has a lot of Land of the Lost people on it. And it comes with four very plain playing pieces. And one thing about the playing pieces, I've been doing a little bit of 3D sculpting and a little bit of 3D printing at home, and we made our own Slee Stack playing pieces for this awesome game that I got from my sisters for Christmas. And just like Slee Stacks, the uh, rules are very simple. What you gotta do is you just uh, you pick whoever goes first. The game says to pick whoever is the first to get the straight ahead space on the spinner. But um, you can kind of determine that any way you want. It's a sloppy way of uh, figuring it out. But um, once you have someone to go first, you just you take a roll at the spinner, and it tells you the direction you're going to go. So in this case, it would just be right. Right. And one thing you got to remember is this game is very facing. So the way the game board is showing to you is bottom, and this is top. Because the direction on the spinner is directional, and you got to follow the directions. And one thing that means, there's only two of these spinning directions that give you an option. That give you an angle or a multiple angles to go from. Every other direction is a must. Meaning, this game is almost all luck. So you can play it against yourself and you would be pretty fair. I mean, that's the one thing it is. Another thing too is if you land on your another player, they go right back to start too. Yeah, the only thing that can really happen to you in this game is just by coincidence you get sent back to start. Right. You end up falling in the pit. If you end up on one of these side pieces and you get a, a, a side angle pointing you towards that, they have little instructions that say go to five or go to four, go to three, go to two, go to one. And they reference right here with these red numbers on the board. And then if you spin uh, a diagonal... On the four or two or the three going up, you're in the pit and starting you back from square one again. Another way of getting into the pit, and this is truly just one of those like pure luck things. If you're the blue character, you need to get to this cave. If you get all the way to one of these white spaces and you get any type of a head move, you just lose a turn. You're going left or right until you rather get to the cave you need to go to and win. Or you go to the cave you're not supposed to be at and you get sent back to start which proves that luck is the number one element of this game you never know who's going to win until they do <laughs> until they do and i don't think it matters how smart you are or whatever i think you could be a lot younger than seven because you're really doing exactly what the spinner tells you to do in this game just don't pay attention to the colors on the spinner. Because right. as far as we know, there is no <laughs> There's reason, no reason for, the for it. There. If you look at the spinner, there's colors around it and colors on the inside. And it sure looks like it could be part of the game, but it's not. It's just a directional game. So, so what did you like about it? Well, it's Land of the Lost. So um, it wins no matter what. Yep. I can't see anything wrong about <laughs> Land of the Lost. I was uh, 10 years old, or no, 12 years old when Land of the Lost came out, and I loved Land of the Lost and still do to this day. And sculpting the uh, Slee Stack is something I actually started before I got the game for the holidays. So I was really happy about that and it just became part of the thing. Huge fan. The board has all the players in it. Chakata and Sa, Dopey's on there, Slee Stacks, my, one of my favorite villains. We of course have Rick Will and Holly, uh, Alice and Grumpy. It's Land of the Lost, and you're never going to hear me talk smack about the old TV <laughs> show, except maybe season three, and it's just different. Yeah, I can't complain when it comes to the stuff on it, because it's just, it, it's a big nostalgia factor for me, too. It's like it came out when you were 10 or 12, but I was watching it 
<laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> ten and twelve. I, I've never given up the stuff I love, and you were forced to have to watch my old stuff. So, and I particularly loved Land of the Lost. I can I can still sing the uh, intro theme song. I won't. You're welcome. <laughs> it is a classic. What I didn't like about the game is it truly is a luck game. It's um, which makes it good if you want. I mean, honestly, I think you could bring a four four year old into this game and just say, "Let's follow the directions," and they'd really learn how to play it because there's really not a lot of strategy. It's so little strategy, it hurts. So outside of it being just purely a luck game, that's probably the weakest thing for me. But that doesn't mean I won't play it. Yeah, I do. Kind of uh, the 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 idea that anyone can play it. Is kind of nice. It'd be good to just like have on. It's like a TV show in the background or something, which is also appropriate for Land of the Lost. <laughs> so I mean, even its negatives kind of come out as a neutral for me yeah. because it's Land of the Lost. It's Land of the Lost, <laughs> <laughs> and I got some cool uh, uh, sleeve stacks for it to play with too. Absolutely, and all the better for it. Yep. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. And if you want to know more about us or how I made these crazy guys, check us out at toyarchaeology.com. I tend to show the artwork that I'm working on in 3D on our website. And you can also check us out on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.